Hey everybody, it is Saturday night and I'm just about to come in here and start turning the lights out. And so I thought I would do a little update on my waterfall tank here. I did a pretty big water change and gravel vac and cleaning in a generalized sort of way. A couple of days ago I put a new filter pad in there. But mainly I've been focusing on using the siphon to uh, gravel vac and to draw a lot of the uh, cyanobacteria out of there. Not too long ago, I was talking about treating this tank with the Chemiclean treatment. Uh, I do that from time to time, and I like to shoot video of it when I do it. It's a good process. It's fairly instructional. It's easy enough to do, and it really makes a big difference on cleaning a tank up and getting it looking nice and pretty if it's got a lot of cyanobacteria in it. But in this case, that green you can see there on that wood is pretty much the bulk of what's left in the tank. And that's kind of difficult to get out of there with the siphon because as soon as the water starts draining, it's above the water. And obviously you can't use the siphon uh, to get it off of there. If I was that worried about it, I would get in there and sort of knock that loose first and sort of, you know, draw it out of there with the uh, siphon as it was swirling around through the water. And I would get it cleaned out that way. So all in all, the tank's looking really good. Got a bunch of really gross grungy stuff out of the bottom. I've removed a few of the rocks and sort of opened it up a little bit. That big piece of wood you can see right there that goes all the way up. That has finally in the water enough that it's good and submerged and saturated so I don't have to have a bunch of rocks piled around it to keep it in the water anymore. Uh, so that's good. Not a lot to talk about in the waterfall area. I never really bothered to build that back up. I threw some aquatic plants in there from my tanks. I got some water sprite and java fern and stuff like that. And we're going to see if that does anything before the weather starts changing and we get some, you know, spring weather and I can really start working on this in earnest. But in the meantime, as long as I've got the water flowing and I can hear all that splashing and tinkling water and I can see all that water flowing everywhere, that makes me happy. That's all I was worried about getting through the winter with it. And like I said, in the spring, we'll do a little bit more uh, elaborate with the waterfall part of it. In the meantime, my plants are still doing okay that are surrounding it. I brought one of my many, many Christmas cactus down here. Every time a piece breaks off, we stick it in another planter it roots in and we have another Christmas cactus so we got bunches of those my Rex begonia here is doing really well you can see I got new growth coming in back here and of course we got all the new growth and everything up on the top and then my flowers over here are doing great I really need to actually get in here and deadhead some of these uh, geraniums in fact this one's getting so big and bushy I really need to get in there and cut a few of these chunks out I could actually make cuttings of them make new plants and then allow this to sort of bush out and get uh, a little more compact here. The, the problem is, is everything's growing up towards the light, which is in the center here. And so everything sort of grows out towards the middle of the tank, which I like in a way because it softens the edges and it makes it look a lot more natural. But at the same time, it kind of gets, you know, it covers the tank. And even when the um, soil starts getting dry, if there's enough hanging over here, I've actually had these things fall over and fall into the tank before. So I definitely need to get uh, working on grooming that back a little bit. Tonight we actually have my little foot tank here. I don't know what you want to call that. It used to be my red claw crab tank once upon a time. I've had all kinds of different stuff in this tank. But it does sit at the foot of my waterfall tank. It's supposed to sort of give the illusion of a continuation of, you know, the waterfall. Water's flowing on down and even though it's not actually connected to that, it still gives enough of an illusion that it looks like it's part of that whole waterfall system. Now, the problem I have with this one is that pump you can see right there, very obviously displayed because I have to get in there constantly and clean the filter out of it. Uh, the filter has gotten so gummed up that it's not even worth trying to clean out anymore. I've bought some new sponge pre-filter, and the pre-filter is what's going to go around the mechanism. There's an inlet. Um, it's basically a cage that goes over it, and then inside the cage, there's a round inlet, and then inside that is where the actual impeller is. So, like, if you stuck your finger in there, you're not going to get it caught on the impeller or anything. You're not going to injure yourself. But snails get in there, and they block it up, and they get the impeller all clogged up, and they just physically block the water flow. So I took the sponge out all together, and that's why we have such vigorous water flow. I don't have anything 
impeding the water flow right now. It is just straight up going through there and that won't last very long. As I said, those snails will get in there and start clogging that up. But for now, we've got some mad water flow going on. I also sort of rerouted the way the um, spout came out the top here. I moved my little piece of wood there. This is just kind of covering up the end. That little piece of PVC elbow does not actually fit over the end of the uh, vinyl hose there and so if I bump it the wrong way or I knock it loose that thing comes off and then water just goes squirting fire hose style off the front of my tank or out the side of my tank or wherever it gets knocked into so I definitely have to be careful when I'm working on this tank and I don't knock that thing loose but all in all it's doing pretty well Everybody in here is still looking good. I was in there the other day picking some snails out of there for Butterbean. And I do indeed still have... Um, ghost Shrimp. I have at least three that I saw the other day in there. And I don't know how many more might be in there. But I have at least three Ghost Shrimp still living in there. And I've got the Guppies. And I have a... Cherry barb, a male cherry barb. I had that in my other tank, but it was harassing the females in there too much, and so I put it in this tank. And so I have this male cherry barb in there. And one of the things I wanted to look at is I realized the other day, uh, if you follow along regularly, you'll know I've been dealing with this monstrous strain of ick that I've had to use really high heat to deal with. And when I first started dealing with it, my uh, heater wasn't even plugged in at all. And what was happening was the ick was just getting worse and worse and worse. And I never was able to really determine how cold uh, the tank was getting. But this tank is unheated. It sits down on the floor. It's actually further into the fish room than my quarantine tank. My quarantine tank sits right by the door. So any uh, cold air blowing in from the other end of the basement or whatever would affect that tank much more than this one. And yet this one is not even 70 degrees. I measured it this morning when I got up, and it was 66 degrees. So, we're definitely not looking at warm temperatures. That's just room temperature right there. So, it's not even 70 degrees down there, and yet all the fish in there are doing just fine. And this tank is really, I'll call it neglected. I mean, it's kind of not but I don't do water changes on it very often. It sits so low to the ground. I do have a liquid transfer pump. I think of it as my power water changer. And I am able to just stick it in there and pump some water out and carry some more water back in. It's really not that big a deal. I don't know why I pretend like it is or act like it is. And I never, just very, very seldom do I do water changes on this tank. Uh, I top it off a lot, but I seldom do water changes. And in fact, I would imagine right now the nitrates in this tank are probably bright red in the vial but I'm not even going to bother to check because again it's been uh, quite a while since I've done a water change and it's just not even worth looking at we know that it's going to be bright red like that but I will get in there soon and get that sponge pre-filter put in which will immediately begin clogging up and then that water flow will be a little less drastic uh, most of the time when we have a look at this tank it's just a little trickle of water you can barely tell it's even moving so I thought I'd get a few minutes video tonight showing you some good vigorous you know pseudo waterfall type activity and I really do have it spread out the whole purpose of this rock being here is just to carry the water out you know and give me more of this sort of trickle this way just depending on how you position the rocks um, you know you can really get a lot of different types of uh, the water coming off the front or the water coming off the side spread out you can get different sort of babbling gurgling effects and all kind of different stuff if you just tinker around with it and move little things here and there and make little tiny fine-tuned adjustments always something to tinker with just fun hobby always in there playing with my tanks you don't have to set them up and leave them set that way permanently forever but as you can see this one's been sitting in this position for quite a while and see just like that I knocked this rock down and I get in there and before you know it, I'm going to knock that off and I'm going to have water squirting everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone right now. I'll do that when I'm done with the video so we don't have a little disaster on camera here. And I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. And then don't forget, of course, this one is my waterfall tank. So thanks again and I'll see you real soon in the next one.